So in this video, we're going to talk about telomeres. Now, we talked about BDNF. That just helps our neurons function longer, neurogenesis, the birth of new brain cells in the memory and learning center, neuroplasticity, all of the fun stuff that goes into the brain. So now, how that functions with a telomere, is you can see on here, it shows us our telomere, but let me show you in depth how this stuff works. So basically, you're born, right? You either have a healthy relationship, an unhealthy relationship, you have stress, you have uh, a good lifestyle or a bad lifestyle. So based on your choices in your life, right, you're going to have your DNA is going to go up like this. So we're just going to make a little makeshift DNA thing right here. And at the end of your DNA is considered your telomeres, right? Now those telomeres will shrink and which will eventually start breaking into your DNA based on stress, right? Stressing is one of them. Exercising, not enough. Fasting is actually useful for your telomeres, right? This one's going to be the shortest module because telomeres aren't that in depth. Really, they're just the end of the DNA on your actual DNA that keeps you healthy. So you have about 80% a cell, and then your other 20% over here is going to be your telomeres, okay? And what we choose to do with our lives is going to shrink these. In time, these will shrink. Your telomeres die, and then once your telomeres are gone, then we start to get into our DNA. That's whenever things that run the family start to kill people. Oh, this runs in the family. It's because when you're born, right, what happens is based on your parents' choices, good or bad, usually bad, what happens is that you, right, your the parent has offspring, and depending on where their DNA exists, your DNA exists. And that's where when people are, like, depressed when they're young, well, your parents pass down neurological connections for something like that to you. Now you experience the fact of having short telomeres. If they had short telomeres, they're going to pass down short telomeres. It's how telomeres and DNA works, right? So biggest takeaway from this little telomeres module right here is this. I want you to check out, right, telomeres. You can look at the research for them. It's kind of interesting. It just talks about longevity, your chromosomes, cancer, aging. A whole bunch of other stuff goes into there, but this is a really good book. The telomere effect. And I always just push that word right there. Elizabeth Elizabeth Apple uh, and Elizabeth, or Elizabeth Blackburn and Alyssa Apple wrote this book. Basically, they found pond scum. So they found this little pond scum thing that had immortal telomeres. So just how you saw, we were drawing those for the normal human being, right? This is the way it would work for a normal human being. This would be the immortal telomeres for someone else, right? We have telomeres here, and we can increase our telomerase which is, in this case, this one had a moral telomerase, so it would never, ever, ever die. But we have a telomerase on the end right here that replenishes our telomeres, and we can choose to do lifestyle alterations to increase these. But some real cool things, uh, meditation, okay? So I'm gonna give you a little takeaways right here, so write them down. Meditation is very important for telomeres because it lowers your stress. Right? You're not going to respond to stressful environments as much as you would if you meditate. Meditation is key for calming down the brain. If you ever meet anybody who is ever just crazy and static, the brain is just not all together, they don't meditate. So meditation is a really important part. Now, we talked about BDNF and we talked about the microbiome. So yes, food is an extremely important part of telomeres. Your gut microbiome is extremely important for your telomeres. Because if you're eating bad foods, you're literally causing your genes to have to work 10 times, 20, 30, I don't even know, 500 million times harder to process food. And that's going to sacrifice DNA, right? Exercise is extremely important. Gene expression is what people talk about here. So exercise is very important for gene expression, right? People look younger because they exercise. People look younger because they fast, okay? All of these things that I'm showing you in this training all connect together, right? The BDNF, it's just really important to understand how to become more intelligent. It's not a joke. It's very real. And you can either choose to optimize your BDNF or not optimize your BDNF. Now, optimizing your BDNF, a factor of that is gut microbiome health. So you want to have your gut in check. 
because if you're eating foods that are causing inflammation in your body and excitotoxicity in your brain, you're not in that environment where your brain's going to continuously grow to unlimited potentials, right? So take away from telomeres is pay attention to the choices that you make. Are you in a city breathing in smog air all day long? Because that's not good for you. I've literally read books from doctors that say, oh, running out, literal doctors that I've met. And they're like, yeah, running outside in the city is like, you're just better off running inside of that after, you know, t- toxic air. And it's not good air quality, right? So everything that you wouldn't want to believe goes into your telomeres. And a really good place to start is the telomere effect. It's going to teach you a lot about your telomeres. It's going to connect a lot of dots for you. Um, but once again, this is another one of the books that we reviewed in the program. And I get you started with the important stuff because it's really important to know all of these things. So next time you decide to go to the grocery store and you think about growing your brain, you're going to be able to look at the foods and understand which ones you should and should not choose. There is a should and should not in, in this case. With, medica- with meditation, there's not always a should and should not, right? You choose to do what you want to do, but these are objective facts that every human has to operate under. I have DNA. You have DNA. We all have DNA. So let's keep our DNA strong. And this is what happens with the future generation. If we are passing down a gene from one person that has a very long, healthy telomere, and then we have another human being who has a short telomere, we're literally limiting their life. You're literally limiting the life. And the biggest things that happen with this stuff are just basically passing down genes to the next generation there's a way to solve all of the problems that we have in our society. Depression's not normal, but welcome to building a world that doesn't make much sense. So it's going to happen as a byproduct of it. Oh, you don't have all these fancy, nice things? Well, then you're not worth anything. So go back home and try again. And that will cause stress, which will cause the telomeres to shrink, which will cause, if they decide to reproduce, shorten telomeres in their offspring. And now we wonder why people have either generational wealth or generational bad health. Things run in the family for a reason, and we can collectively stop those by choosing to. So think about the partner that you decide to reproduce with. Are they on the same page as you with health and wellness? If not, then good luck aging, because one person's going to get more healthy while the other person gets unhealthy. And you don't want to have two people together, and then you have one person with their telomeres are here, and another person with their telomeres here, because that's not a good world, because no one should die young, but people are dying young. Here's part of the reason. So I'll see you in the next video.